is up YouTube welcome back to the channel guys and good morning today we are at a very special spot you guys have probably seen this place on my channel maybe a couple times and possibly have seen it on the one of my dad's TV shows we have a special guest with us today hey say what's up <laughs> my best friend Callie is coming along to hopefully catch some Giants with me today and it's just her and I and we're gonna go out we have the Skeeter here so we hauled up here about two hour drive from Clewiston and uh, we're ready to catch some giants. Hopefully the weather is right. I'm really excited. And we have a couple spots uh, to fish today. We have this one that we're here right now and then we'll pull out here in a little bit and actually go to a different lake. Um, it's probably like a 30 second drive that way. So we have lots of stuff to do today, today guys. And I'm really excited for you guys to tag along. It's gonna be super fun. Let's jump in and go catch a giant. How well you comprehend this is gonna be my determination on if you're going to drive the boat or not. So, okay. we got trim right trim here. There. Okay. See the motor goes up and down. Jack plate over there, but then there's also another little trim button right here. Mm -hmm. Little trim switch. Okay. Then we got the hardest part, the key. I'm just kidding. It's not hard at all. <laughs> you just turn it like that and the boat's going to go like this. Okay. But we're not going to fully crank it yet cuz she's not in the water. Forward, backward. Backwards reverse. Forward is forward. Middle is neutral. Middle is neutral. Yeah. Okay, you got this, bro. Please don't crash my boat. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of truth. Here we go. She said, oh, we're moving. Not yet. Yeah. Now straighten it this way. There you go. Perfect. You're not going to hit the trailer. What a good boat driver you are. <laughs> All right, put it in reverse, Terry. Good job. Round of applause for Kaliana. So we're finally set up. We're fishing uh, this ledge right here, we're using the live scope to see these fish. And you can kind of see on the scope where the ledge kind of comes up a little bit and that's the ledge right there. So that's where all the rocky bottom is. And we're just taking these black and blue worms and just dragging them over it. See Callie, look right here. You see that, that blob? Yeah. That's a bass. It's a big bass. So cast up in there and let it sink to the bottom and you'll know when it sinks cause you'll see slack in your line or, or you'll feel the rock as you drag it. All right, let's see what happens. That's the ledge. That is the ledge. Go on. There we go. There you go. Keep it down. Keep it down, Callie. That could be a good one. That could be a big one. Big one? I don't know. It hasn't jumped yet. I'm scared to see what it is. Oh, not a bad one. Get it in here. There you go. Oh, I thought you, I thought it came off. Oh, I got one. Oh boy, Double this up. is a good one. This is a good one. This is a big one. Ah, it's not giant, but it's a good one. Hold on. Here we go. Double up. We might be onto something here. Yeah. Oh, nice fish right there. Not a bad one for sure. Cool. Doubled up right there on the sea rig and shoot. What were you throwing? A little worm? I was throwing that. Um, Ribbon. Tail. Yeah, the ribbon tail. Yep. It's like the smallest they get out here. Got one. There you go. Big one. Oh, that's nice. Dude, that's a Cali. That's a that's a good one. Don't touch it, Cali. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cali, 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 Cali. Put your rod tip down. Rod tip down, rod tip down, rod tip down, rod tip down, rod tip down. <laughs> Dude, that's a giant. Oh, that's a tank. Cali, that's a Holy giant. That's a stud. Look at the mouth on that thing. She didn't know what she had. I thought I had rock. <laughs> I'll get some pictures later. That's a good one, dude. Heck yeah. Fist bumps, fist bumps. All right. A little angry. That was awesome. So. We kind of had to make a little adjustment here. We went to the other side of the ledge, mainly because I got hung up with my dang uh, Carolina rig. I was like, oh crap. So we, uh, we, we switched sides and I think we've given them enough time. You kind of like set back up, but 
I've kind of learned, especially on this ledge, like that they have waves of feeding, which is how most fish are, of course, on ledges and stuff, where these fish have intervals of feeding. So they're not always going to be feeding 25A, as y'all know that. So, you know, we, we kind of have to wait for a minute, and when the feeding time comes back on, they're ready to bite. So it's, it's a patient process, but it's definitely well worth it when you catch one like that. So yeah, that was a nice one. That was a nice that one. That was a stud. Yep, for sure, for sure. All right, we're going to keep fishing, of course. Uh, hopefully catch some more big ones. Okay, you have big fish so far, bro. Yep, I'm winning. You do, you have big fish so far. Your side of the tank is going to be left side, my side's going to be the right side. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come bite my bait, please. Oh, I just got thumped. Oh, watch out. Snag it. What? Oh, you missed it. Oh, he wow. dropped it, bro. Point oh, he's got it again. There we go. Nice. <sighs> Butt flip. Tinker! He came back for more. He said, give me more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know if it's big or not. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I'll help you. <laughs> on the drop shot sitting down while eating my yeah. food. <laughs> Come here, little man. Oh, that's a nice one. Alright, hold on. Here I got it. Oh my gosh. Come here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I don't know if he's as fat as yours, but he might be as long. Might be longer. I was eating my food, my little Wawa sandwich, because I got hungry. Had a little drop shot in hand. And you know, just kind of popping it along the bottom, taking another more bite of my sandwich, popping it along the bottom, taking another bite of my sandwich. Finally finished my sandwich, and this guy decided to show up. That's a good one. I'm happy about it. We're gonna actually load the boat back up onto the trailer. We're gonna head to a different lake. Like I was saying in the beginning of the video, we have two separate lakes that we're gonna be fishing today. Now we're going to the second one. We might make our way back down to this one later on in the day. Um, just depends. And we're gonna go fish a lake over there and we're gonna get us rock piles, maybe flip the banks, maybe, just depends on how the rock piles do. But um, I'm feeling pretty good about that lake. Callie and I have two decent fish in here. We're gonna go to the boat ramp, we're gonna weigh them, and uh, we're gonna see who has big fish on this lake. And then we're gonna release them here because I don't wanna take them out of this lake, of course. You ready to weigh in these fish in a minute? What do you think? Mine, I'd say about, Four nine pushing five two. Pushing five two. Mm -hmm. Mine's a four and a half pounder. Oh my gosh, yours is <laughs> so much bigger. <laughs> oh, that's a tank right there, dude. That is six point one. Yep. <laughs> that's a six pounder. That's a sixer Here, right there, dude. We're gonna have to start the challenge over at the new lake, but you got me, you got me beat. Hey, but I did get you in quantity. You did get me in I quantity. I did get you, you in, quantity. in quantity. All right. So far, I'm the one driving home today. That's a <laughs> six pounder. My lord, look Woo! at your belly. Good job, dude. Fist bumps. Found it. So, this is Callie's like first time fishing offshore like this. Um, she's never really fished rock piles or ledges or anything like that. So her doing the worm and dragging the worm like that and, and drop shots and drug baits and stuff, it's a little new to her. So I'm very proud that she was able to get that giant. That was awesome and just, Tell us how you feel, bro. I feel I beat you. Yeah, so you feel I beat the real Hillary Sue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, there's nothing to it. It's just, it's nice. All right, now you got some confidence going into the next lake. Yeah. So, are you ready? 100%. All right, give me some five. Let's go crush them at the next lake, y'all. All right, we have made it to the main lake. Main lake, we're here. Ooh, watch out. About the face. Bingo, bingo, right.
right on the money. <laughs> <laughs> skinny guy oh that's a fish oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah there you go big one no it's a little one that's okay quantity one one on the new lake show it to him i'll, I'll get the hook out first mine's bigger <laughs> all right guys i'm so sorry about the weird scenery change there for a minute um me and callie ended up finishing out our day but uh, we only caught a few towards the end um, and it just ended up getting too dark for an outro. So I apologize for that. But I honestly had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along that little adventure with us. Um, I know we didn't catch a whole lot, but listen, I call it a success in my book. Callie was able to uh, really get a feel of the offshore style type of fishing, you know, targeting those rock piles, looking at those fish on the live scope, and then also, you know, being able to throw a drop shot and a Carolina rig on them and uh, be able to whack them doing that. So it was really cool. She was able to get a feel for that and learn a couple things. So I call that a success in my book. That was cool. Um, but yeah, she did end up beating me <laughs> on big fish and quantity. Before I close this video out, I wanted to show you guys my drop shot setup. You guys have probably seen this in a couple of my other videos, but this right here is the Hex Series Favorite Rod. Um, it's a 7.2 medium heavy. It's literally perfect for the drop shot style of fishing. Um, and then the Sunline that I was using paired up with that rod is the SX1 12 pound. This is the high vis yellow. This is just perfect for your base. Um, literally perfect for a spinning reel setup. It's my go-to every time. And then of course, we got the Sunline FC 10 pound leader. This right here is what I pair with my SX1. It's perfect. Sometimes I go to 12, it just depends. I mean, I was using 10 on that day. I, I like it lighter, but you know, 12 is also good too. It, it works for the drop shot. Of course, we had to have the OG hook that Gamagatsu offers is the deal. A little straight shank one out hook right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is perfect for like a trick worm, even the robo worms that we use. Um, but yeah, this little straight shank one out hook is perfect that Gamagatsu offers. And we were just jacking them on it. It was awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and uh, enjoyed coming along that little adventure with us. It was a two hour drive and honestly, it was worth it. I had so much fun. Um, and thank you, Callie, for coming out. If you guys wanna follow her Instagram, uh, it'll be right here. We'll be coming back for more videos. So y'all stay tuned, don't go too far. And if you enjoyed, please drop a comment below, smash that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to come back for more videos. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.